Don't make me blush. Yeah. Hey, man, I can't <laughs> say nice things. He's sitting right next to me. This is awkward. For me, at an early age, I got to see Michael develop into people nationally knowing his name. Colleges wanting to recruit him, professional scouts coming to the area. And, you know, I think a lot of people seeing me play is because of Michael bringing the scouts and a lot of college coaches to the area. I used to go get recruited by the same college coaches that recruited Michael and his name always got brought up. You know, so I think, you know, reading about Michael in the paper and, and hearing my coaches talk about the type of player that Michael was, he almost made it realize that, you know, we can be noticed from the little small town of Chesapeake, Virginia. And it just made sense for me to try to follow in those types of footsteps. I'd known about him since he was probably 10 or 11, and that's what I heard about. The next you is going to be David. And then once he got drafted by the Mets, I obviously followed his professional career, and we're all proud of where we came from. And I was really proud that there was another guy from our area that went into professional baseball. After a combined 25 seasons in the majors, two veterans were about to see their paths come full circle. As soon as Kadir hit the free agent market last October, there to woo him to New York was his old protege from Virginia. Right when the season was over, I think it was a text, and it said, now that the offseason's officially here, I'm going to start the recruitment process. And, uh, you know, that made me feel good. Obviously, when you go to free agency, you want to be you know, respected by your peers, especially somebody that I've known for so long. To, to have him be the first one to call meant a lot. He was there in my corner, and um, you know, I don't know if he did anything behind the scenes, but I just know that having his influence helped me get to be a New York Met. If you talk to anybody in baseball, and you know the most random people have, have come and you know just told me throughout you know my career, guys that either knew him in Minnesota, played with him in Minnesota, knew him in Colorado, I've just come and just talked about you know how great of a, a teammate he is. You know, you'll see the way he runs out ground balls. You'll see the way he tries to give you a good at bat. Um, you know, if there's a runner that needs to get over, he's going to try to get him over. So that combination, yeah, it's, it's good for anybody to look up to, much less, you know, somebody that comes from the same area that, you know, admired Michael as a kid. Yeah, I mean, that, that admiration is, of course, still there because, you know, he does everything that you want out of a baseball player uh, and a teammate. Especially at the point that I'm at in my career, you want to win. You know, I was very fortunate to come up in an organization. We won a lot. We won six division championships in Minnesota. And the last four years have been tough. My last year in Minnesota, the last three years in, in Colorado. So you want to win first and foremost. And this team and this organization here in New York wants to win. So knowing what the, the talent this team has, it got me excited. Oh, yeah. That's the hardest ball hit so far. Helping Kadire settle into the middle of the lineup is new hitting coach Kevin Long. This one's going to play at the fence a little bit. One of the league's more sought-after coaches, Long was brought in to help invigorate the Mets offense, a process that began immediately after his hiring last October. I had talked to Grandy quite a bit. I had talked to David and kind of went from there and then uh, reached out to not everybody but most of them. Um, and started building relationships. If you don't know these guys and know what makes them tick and know their personalities, it's just not going to work. I mean, that's my past experience has been the closer you are to the individual person, the easier it makes life on both of us. Hey, baby. Looks like you hit off me before. Certainly, you don't want someone coming to the cage and they're being some kind of conflict issue, uh, especially with personalities. Swing it, Trav. Oh, cut right through it. So I try to feed into their personality as much as I can. Trying to be their best friend, I wouldn't say that. I would just say more or less, um, there's got to be a fine line between being too close to somebody and in the business kind of approach to it. And you're somewhere in between there. Um, is it all right to go out to dinner and, and, and talk and chat? Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's part of it. it. You know, that's what helps build that trust. So you have guidelines and you follow those and um, throughout the years it's worked. If relationship building is phase one of the project, phase two is results. Although the Mets ranked near the league's bottom in total offense a year ago, 
they go into 2015 with more experience, better health, and the understanding that key pieces are now in place. I think you acknowledge what you have. You have a proven veteran that's acquired on the team, Michael Kadire. You got Juan Lagares getting some praise with his gold glove in the outfield. Lucas Duda had a great season last year. Daniel Murphy with his all-star season last year. And David Wright back at 100%. So you start looking and say, hey, we got a lot of good things going. At the same time, we got to go ahead and do what we know that we're capable of doing. Yep, swing it, Grandy. Head of baby. We're gaining on it. There's always work to do. There's always adjustments to be made. I don't feel like it's, uh, throughout my years, it's ever been perfect. I know throughout the year, there's gonna be some bumps in the road, and that's where you kind of build your character. Are they ready to pull the chute, or are they ready to keep moving and keep grinding? It's my job to stay positive and just keep them focused on the big picture, and the big picture is playing 162 and, and beyond that, and uh, we'll see where that takes us.